Hey guys, it's Michael Gass with PDS Equipment on our third and final video on print cut. This video is going to be on using Mark Detect. So we covered our basics in video one and two. This video is going to show what to do if you need to print a job, take it out of the machine, laminate it, put it back in, and then cut. So this is going to cover how Mark Detect works. So right now we're printing a job. It's going to be done printing in just a second. So this is our Red Hot stickers that we're going to use in production. We actually make the Red Hot Adhesion Promoter in-house at PDS Equipment, and we're making stickers today. All right, so I've just made four because I want to keep this nice and clean and simple. So it just finished printing the job. So now we're going to cut the job. And again, like we did in the previous video, we could have print and cut all at once, but we're going to simulate uh, laminating the job. So now once it's done printing, we're going to put it in local mode. And uh, instead of taking it out and put it back in, I'm just going to simulate taking it out and put it back in. So basically I'm just going to scroll down. I'm going to hit enter. So what I've done is I've just registered a new orientation point. So right now it has no idea where my job is. So I'm going to now cut this job. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our menu and we're going to come to test cut. We're going to hit enter and we're going to go down to mark detect and we're going to hit enter. So once we hit mark detect, it's going to come over and it's going to grab the cut tool. It's going to take just a second. And uh, our eye is going to come out. Now, what we're looking at here is you see this little red dot? That's where we that's what we use to find our orientation point. So now we're just going to drive the machine. So I'm just hitting the up and down and the left and right arrows to drive my media. So I'm going to come over here. And again, I'm just pushing my up and down and left and right arrows. Now, I don't know how well that's going to come out, but you want to be on the inside of that registration mark so that it can find that mark. So once I'm there, I'm going to hit enter. And then you're going to see it's going to find that registration mark. going to scroll back and forth, it's going to do its thing, and it's, it's registering that orientation point. So once that is done, then I'm going to come back over here to my job, and I'm going to click cut only. So our choices are print and cut, if we want to print and cut at the same time. Print only, which is what I selected. Now I'm going to select cut only. I'm going to select start. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to end out of my mark detection. And I'm going to put it in remote. And now it's going to cut the job. I have it set to look for all four corners to make sure I get good registration on my cut. So it's sending the job right now. And what you're going to see in just a minute is uh, it's going to come out and it's going to find all four. It's actually going to be six because I did use intermediate. So I actually have six registration marks. It's going to find all six registration marks. And if we have everything set correctly, like we talked about in the previous videos, where you've got your raster link set to use cut one, or excuse me, mark one, and you have your machine set to print mark one, then it's going to find these marks no problem. So it's found the marks and now it's going to cut the job. And again, this is a pretty small, simple job, so it's not going to take very long to cut. Now, if you did get an error on the job, you do have settings in here that you can adjust your, your sensitivity of your eye. You also have a, uh, the option to fill in behind it if you were on some clear or on some uh, black, dark, or even folio media where it was having trouble reading 
the march, you may have to take your level up and down on your eye, or you may have to use the fill-in register mark. So those are some different options that you have as well. So as soon as this gets done cutting, we'll pull one of these out, and that's how we use the mark detection so that if you want to print a job, come back and cut it later. That's how we do it. And I think we're just about done here. So there we are. So let's pull one out and see what we've got. As soon as it gets done, any second now. So there it is, and we've got our kiss cut. So simple job, but even if it was a complex job, we would be dead on on our registration. So that's how we print a job, use Mark Detect, and come back and cut it. Thank, Thank you, you very subscribe. much. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you, guys.